how to solve a system of equations using matrices. So in this example, I'm going to solve a system of equations with two variables and two equations, OK? All right, so the first thing you do is you just copy down the coefficients in a matrix form, and then you use a vertical line to separate them using, which represents the equal signs, basically. All right, so instead of negative 4x, I just write negative 4. Instead of 1y or y, I just write 1, and so on. All right, so this divides them with the equals. The next thing is to find the inverse of the matrix that's left of the equal signs. OK, now remember, to find the in inverse, you have to do a few things. First, you find the determinant, which is what I'm doing here. All right, so that's AD minus BC, or, right? And I'm putting it 1 over that because you need to divide um, a matrix by it, remember? OK, so here we go. So first, I do this. And it turns out to be 1, right? The determinant's 1, because 1 over negative 4 minus times negative 4 is 16 minus 15, which happens to be 1 over 1. And hopefully you can recall when finding the inverse that you need to switch the A and the D element and then put negatives in the B and the C element. OK, so that was a quick review, finding the inverse. All right, so here's my inverse of the part of the matrix that's left of the equal sign. OK, now, remember, if the determinant was 0, then there would be no solution. So then you could stop right away. All right. But mine has a nice value, so I leave it like that. Then we take the inverse, and we multiply that matrix by the part of the matrix that was right of the equal signs. OK, you see that? So this is the, now the inverse matrix. You multiply it by the right side. Okay. And if you remember, how you do it is you kind of like, I like to think of it as rotating this. So what you do is you multiply this column by this row and then this column by this row. So it's negative 4 times negative 2 plus negative 1 times 5. And then negative 15 times negative 2 at plus negative 4 times 5. All right, so that actually gives you x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 10. It's a pretty cool way of solving systems. And that completes our problem.